I'm Travis Payne. And I'm Stacy Walker. Welcome, Welcome to, to Full, Full Out with, with the real, real Travis, Travis and Stacy on YouTube. And I washed my hair this morning. Did you? Yeah, I thought since we're on YouTube, I should just go ahead. You know, and might do as it. well. And I'm up early anyway now because, you know, we have a puppy <laughs> who wakes up at 6 30. Oh, my. It's not the worst. So built in alarm clock. Yeah, but it, it's pretty good because basically, as soon as he sits up, well, as soon as he kicks you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> then you know he's up. It's time. <laughs> and his paws are so big. They're oh my god. So big. The Zorro. I know, but then we I lift him out of the bed and take him directly outside. He pees and then he's Dan's responsibility. You are such a good mommy. You don't even make him walk in the mo- in the morning? Well, okay, so I don't know if I've told you guys, but Zorro has some cognitive issues. Okay. So he is his sight is impaired. Okay. And oh. he has selective hearing, but all boys do. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, and, like, even sometimes if I have a treat in my hand, he can't quite find it. Okay. So he's very, um, he's perfect. He's wonderful and so smart. He's potty trained. Like, he is amazing. And he just can't see well and, you know, stuff like that. Does so, he love his new house, though? He does. And he navigates the stairs uh-huh. to the yard. And okay. he can he can get around fine, you know. Uh-huh. But, um, so that's why I, he can't jump out of the bed. Okay. Because he will, he doesn't he understand flat. depth. Okay. So he... He will just walk off the bed and fall. <laughs> and it happened once. So now I lift him out. So cute though. And then it's so cute. And he'll he'll learn though. He'll learn. Mm-hmm. Like to get off the couch, he lays on his stomach and then he touches the floor with his paws and then, and then he, he slides. slides off. Yeah. So he can't, graceful. He won't be able to jump off. Okay. That won't be his thing. But I mean, that's like a baby. It's and it's, it's actually like a not toddler a bad would do the thing. same thing. Yeah. Right? You yeah. have to move a toddler around and help them. Yeah. Yeah. Has he met the squirrels in the back? Yes. Does he like them? Do they um, well, like him? At first, at first he couldn't see them. <laughs> <laughs> so they, everybody got along great. <laughs> but the other day he was like, wait a minute. Who are you? I think I just saw something. Uh-huh. And so he is interested. He doesn't like go after them or anything, uh-huh. but he, and they still come and eat from us and he's right, uh-huh. right here, you uh-huh. know, but um, it's pretty cute. I, I do think he will eventually try to chase one, <laughs> but the squirrels will win. Right. Because they're fast. Right. And, and they, they are can, feisty. And they can duck and dodge and yeah. climb trees. Yeah. But it's, um, we're, we're going broke because <laughs> we have a dog that's going to be over 80 pounds, I think, oh. who eats. And then the squirrels are still eating so much. So we've got, you know, $40 worth of walnuts for the squirrels. We're, you know, hundreds and hundreds of dollars for the dog. I don't know what I'm doing. Trying so, it's, to do so it's a little farm. So we have a little farm. <laughs> we have a wolf and um and, squirrels. and some birds and some squirrels. Well, that's amazing. I think you should start to plant your radishes and your, <laughs> your peppers. And I'll wear my overalls. How you do it? Right. <laughs> yes. I think Gucci makes them. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Too bad I can't afford them. <laughs> well, <laughs> I got a hookup in Atlanta. Do you? <laughs> do you? You know. But yeah, I mean, hey, YouTube, how y'all doing? It's good. Welcome back. I hope you uh, got to see our first episode. We dished on a lot there. But now we're back with episode two of season two. Yeah. And last week we talked a lot about um, some of the tours that were going on. Mm. And I was just thinking, you know, there's been a lot of good award shows this season. You know, I mean, of course, a while back, but they all got kind of good. I remember there being a time where I was like less interested in the award shows. I just didn't think they were... That mm-hmm. great, but recently, mm-hmm. like I loved the Oscars, and do you know that um, Raj Kapoor was Our the yes, he was yes. the executive producer mm-hmm. and he was a dancer yes he a really was a dancer. dancer and I he's w- our generation he's dancer. our generation yeah. yeah and then he went into producing and now he's executive producer yes, of sir. the oscars yeah like that's pretty that's amazing awesome i mean amazing dancers are great people they can go on to do there's so many things you can go on to do yep. starting as a dancer that's why i always tell young people know a little bit about everything no Every something about everybody's job, so you can be better at yours, and then also your career trajectory is better because you can evolve into another lane. Right. Yeah, and then many, many of like you know some of Michael's dancers from this is that like Devin's a cameraman now. Yeah. You know, and and does study cam very well, and yeah, you know, others have gone on to be choreographers, actors, mm. singers. You know, mm-hmm. so it's possible. You know, look at the Debbie Allens of the world, the Paula Abduls of the world, who started as dancers and have been able to build entire empires. Yeah, and I remember working with Raj and Jeff Andrews. Remember yes, Jeff Andrews, Jeff who's Andrews. now um, a interior very designer. famous interior designer. He did. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
um, Kardashians. Uh-huh, the and, Kardashians. And I saw many, him at Kris Jenner's more. house. Mm-hmm. He did her, you know, home, and they they have a great rapport for many years. And I love interior design. Yes, you do. Love it so much. And I, but I really think it's so similar to choreography. It is because you're you're staging things. Uh-huh. You know, you're it's. Uh huh. Yeah, I, I really. I see the parallel. So it makes sense that yes. he went that way. Raj went into yeah. producing, yeah. you know, there's um, directing cameras. Every, there's so many things yeah. anyway. Yeah. But back to the Oscars. I, um, I thought it was really good. I loved how they brought out the five presenters, uh-huh. like oh, the, you know, previous winners yes. and iconic previous winners. Iconic. Well, I guess they all are, but you know, and then they each said something nice about each nominee, which was really thoughtful so, and so good. special. It's yeah. weaving it together because we're all connected. Yeah. But what did you think about the um, in memoriam, if that's what it's called, you know, where they're paying tribute there. Yeah. So there were dancers in the Oscars. They actually had a beautiful dance number during mm-hmm. that. I think it was lovely because, you know, those are already very, very difficult to do yeah. the in memoriam because they're all so full of emotion, yeah. you know, and, and very sad with, with the ones that we lost during the year, mm-hmm. you know, but to you know, fully heighten its artistic value, I think was a good idea. I, you know, it's funny because I kind of feel like it was distracting and, you know, which is bad for me to say Mm because I'm a dancer. I I come from it, but I was like, is that appropriate? So it's interesting to hear people's thoughts Mm -hmm. on it. Mm -hmm. You know, like, I don't know, maybe it should have been about the people on screen Mm -hmm. and then, it goes dark and there's some dance and mm-hmm. then back. I don't like know. But transitional. Yeah. For some reason I was kind of like, are we watching dancers or are we watching clips of right. people that have passed on? I don't but know. But what I do appreciate is that dance was included that way because exactly. dance needs exactly. to be included in the Academy Awards. Some of the biggest films of the year, some of the biggest films of all time have depended on dance and we've never been nominated for categories that are know. that are dance related where the choreographer can win an Oscar. And okay, and so, you know, the um Emmys, mm-hmm. there's an Emmy for choreography. Absolutely. But but why do we think there's not one in the Oscars? Like is it because not all movies, enough movies have it in there? Is it I don't Well, that's fine. I mean, not every music video has dance in it. Right. You know, but there's a a, a category for those that do. Yeah. So I think same with the Emmys. Yeah. You know, so why wouldn't the Oscars do it? I mean, there's no real skin off their teeth. I mean, right. there it's a completely separate category. So it's not threatening the director who have their own categories. Right. And choreography and staging for the camera is a completely different discipline that many people dedicate their lives to. And I think it should be recognized. Right. Especially since, you know, you have things like West Side Story or you have things like Chicago or you have, you know, m- movies that, and, and you have a lot of martial arts too, which is also choreography. Or, so, or stunts, uh, right? Absolutely. Well, I can see stunts is a little different. Well, no, I guess it's it, really it, it choreographed depends. movement. It's choreographed movement. But wouldn't that be weird that you have dance choreography, stunt choreography, yeah. martial arts choreography, fight choreography all in the same category? Well, that, because it's movement. Yeah, and that makes me think of SAG. Right. Hi. How SAG, AFTRA, mm-hmm. has, they, you know, a part of a stunt, co- stunt coordinators, they're yeah. called, are a part of the union. Absolutely. But choreographers are not. Correct. That blows my mind. Absolutely. And I give it a thumbs down. Get, a get out. It's that's a full get I, out. It is. A, that's ridiculous. You know, but I think that like now in this day and age, we are able to do those things. We are. You know, we've seen the value, you know, even going back to, you know, some of the early Hollywood musicals that were driving the economy of this town. Yeah, for sure. You know, and I feel like because we used to be called dance directors. You know, in the Hollywood, old Hollywood days, they were called dance directors or Mm. movement directors. And then that became weird with the Directors Guild. I'm sure. The directors, the film directors felt away. Mm -hmm. I understand that. I do too. But to completely disregard the art of movement on film, Mm -hmm. I think is short-sighted. No, I do too. It's very short-sighted. Well, Hopefully someday. But I mean, yeah, speaking of great award shows and great 
award performances, you know, we we loved uh, the Grammys as well. Yeah, put that back up, Jamil. Yeah. The Dua Lipa yeah. picture you just had up. Yeah, we especially there. loved that. I mean, she's bootyless shows. So I, I know. I didn't really notice. What, I did not either. What I noticed was the sets and everything. I it was like a box if you didn't see it or if you don't remember. Mm -hmm. But the guys manipulated this box with her on it. Mm -hmm. it, it like turned. It, it would kind of go upside down and back mm -hmm. over. It was so clever. I loved. I loved that. That was the opening number, I love, think, right? Love, love, love. It was so good. Love. And other great moments, we had Tracy Chapman and Luke Combs, you know, the great Tracy Chapman, who's who's experiencing some rena uh, renaissance of her own, actually, um, you know, with her with her great, great song, Fast Car, which is it was, a legendary composition. It was, like, really fun to see her up there doing it. It was, I don't know, she just seems like a class act, yep. just so yep. gentle and so thoughtful and yes. I, I just want to I just want to be her friend well when your publishing she's, gets republished and uh, you are the writer <laughs> yes yeah she's happy she's that's very it, happy. that's in sincere joy and I love and she when, deserves it uh, she does yeah you know she really helped mold a generation and I think that when you have opportunities to put a you know a a legend you know with a with a up-and-comer yeah. you know um and you get to really experience that kind of thing Music allows you to do that. And how cool that a country artist yeah. just always loved that song mm -hmm. and then reimagined it. Yeah. And, you know, it's it's nice that it, it went from one genre to another genre yeah. even. You yeah. know, I mean, it's really cool. And it's good that she's having, a, you know, she's having, like I said, a, a renaissance of her own because now she has new popularity again for that song. She's had a great catalog of work, you know, but I remember when Fast Car came out, mm -hmm. you know, it was so different because mm -hmm. you had never seen a black woman mm -hmm. in my in me mm -hmm. i'd never seen a black woman who had folk rock music yeah. like that yeah you know there was tina turner who was rock and roll yeah but the folk side of it different. you know but other groups like arrested development they were doing that too during mm -hmm. that time in the late 80s and early 90s mm -hmm. um but yeah for her to now be reappreciated by a new generation and honored like that i'm happy big, for her so great and she looked amazing Oh and yeah, sounded flawless. She was beautiful. I and so natural and perfect. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but what about the NAACP awards? Did well, you see that? Well, can we talk about how Celine? Oh, showed Celine. Up? Oh, at the Grammys. Yeah, that was a surprise. Celine showed up. Yes, it was yes. great because you know we've missed her on the scene, and you know to make a connection, my first Oscars that I danced in, I danced for Celine. Oh really? Yes. I don't it was, think I remember um, that. It was um, uh, it was a duet between she and Peebo Bryson. Well, Huge song. Oh, I'm trying to think Is what that was for. I think it's somewhere out there. I think it's somewhere out there. I remember that song, but uh -huh. I don't remember the the film that it was representing. It'll come whatever. to me. Okay. But the it was it was a big Disney movie. Yeah. Yeah. But and Debbie Allen, the great Debbie Allen, was the choreographer. And uh, I just remember that was the first time I had ever flown. Oh, yeah. And you freaked out. This is that story. Totes, totes freaked out. Yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah. And Celine was so gracious and so amazing. She was newer on yeah. the U.S. scene at that point. But I've always heard good things about her. Love her. Like she's very gracious. Love her. Yeah. I got to see her in Vegas. Oh, and good. one of her yeah. residencies, the one that me and Michaels did. Right. At, at it Caesars. It was awesome. Mm -hmm. You know, that was the first time I'd ever seen a stage that, like a like a vocal concert stage that was reminiscent of a Broadway stage. And it was raked, It was right? raked. It, mm -hmm. had, it had ramps and sort of mountains. And the entire orchestra was under the stage. Mm. And they had a vent. Mm. You know, so you could kind of see through it to them a little bit. But they were completely masked. Hmm. You know, and that's when she had the humidifier downstage that, you oh. know, like her stage was amazing. I would not want to be I think in the, the Coliseum was built for her show. It probably was. Yeah. I yeah. remember because we were, that was sort of around the time we were working out there doing Treasure Island, Treasure Island yeah. I think. Yeah. Somewhere around that time. Yeah. Somewhere out there. <laughs> but yeah, somewhere for Celine to be there. there and then, you know, surprise us, you know, because we missed her, you know, and we always I know. wish her well. And I hate that she's not feeling well yeah. and suffering and yeah, I, I hope she's she'll be back she'll be back because she's great so. i mean she's one of the greatest voices ever yeah no she's, ever it's pretty incredible i mean her instrument i can't you know but yeah and it was nice to have her you know award taylor swift and i'm glad they went on and fixed it because when i saw it in the moment i was like how is taylor swift not hugging celine and how 
does it feel like she's ignoring Celine? That is Celine Dion. What are you doing? We, we've had a couple of those little hiccups in award shows lately. Uh, there were some other ones, too, where people didn't right. um, acknowledge the person that was giving the award. Yeah. Which I'm sure, in their defense, in the moment, you're probably, like, freaking out. I don't know. But, oh, please. But you, still, wouldn't you, I think that would be the first thing I would do. It don't matter who it is. They hold in the awards you're about to get. Make eye contact with them as right. you grab it. And say, Thank Super you. simple. Right. Super I agree. simple. I agree. But we don't know what's going on behind the scenes. But I think it was good that, you know, the teams went into overdrive and they released a photo of them hugging after the fact. Jamil, if you show that one time really quick, I was like, uh, you know, that's the way you, you know, get your PR team together. Celine's like, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I think the acting, Taylor's acting is better right. in this photo. So he's like, uh-huh, little girl, back up, little girl. <laughs> We love you, Celine. We love you, Taylor. Um, but I know we talked so much about Usher last week, and he won. Uh, didn't he win Entertainer of the Year? Yeah, he did for at NAACP, NAACP Awards. Awards. Yep, yep. So that's pretty cool. And he's actually Essence's uh, sexiest man right now, too. Oh, I saw sure a picture of him in a bathtub. That. I was like, okay. We don't need to see that. It's been, it's been, well, last month he was in underwear. This month he's in a bathtub. So it's getting I'm worse. I'm like, where do you go from here? <laughs> but you, what are you, what's I next? I think, because I, at first I was thinking, you know, at a certain age, you just need to stop doing that. Yeah. But then I thought, except for Lenny Kravitz. Oh, period. Because he's full out. So full out. Oh my God. Love his, love his new release. He's got two videos out now. Love his abs. Yep. He always, he, I saw now him, he'll, he'll snatch those abs together. I, I saw him working out oh, in yes. leather pants and, and a fishnet top. Absolutely. Yeah. No, he's that way. He'll, he he The last time I was with him at his home in Paris, he was preparing to go on yes. tour. Yes, yeah. Um, and that was um, U2 360 tour. Okay. That I got to work on with him. And he has, a, it's like a regimen. He goes into before he's, you know, starting to perform. And yeah. then he really buckles down. His food, his eating changes. Very his clean. Whole, yeah, yeah, everything. Yeah. But yeah, he's a he's a dedicated artist. And I just did not know that he, you know, he designs furniture. You know, yeah. he's very multi-talented. Yeah. Um, and just such a collector of music memorabilia, instruments. His, you know, his villa in, in Paris is extraordinary. Oh, I bet he's a, such an interesting person to be around. And you know, for me, most times when I go to, you know, a star's home or a celebrity's home that we're working with, one of the things I say is like, let me see your closet. Because that really tells me a lot about the person. Mm -hmm. And of course, Lenny's closet did not disappoint. His bathroom was insane. Oh, I insane. I think the first video, dun, 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 uh, I think that was shot at his house. Really? Uh-huh. Oh. Or, or that's the style of his home. Okay. Um, but yeah, he's he's fabulous. He's fabulous. What's the style of his home? It was, I don't know what you call it, but it's like lots of marble everywhere. Uh -huh. It's just fabulous and French and, but you know, you know, expensive. some of that, I think something very expensive, very sort of kind of old world meets new okay i like you know, that it was, i like it, that I, I think you would love it yeah i think that was when i learned that rick owens did furniture i think he has some rick owens pieces but oh. lenny himself designs furniture amazing and so some of the furniture in the home was pieces pieces he designed okay and then i just remember going into his studio downstairs and he had like Jimi hendrix's guitar and Guitar, you know, from Prince and different, you know, sort of memorabilia that's sort of like one of a kind, you know. Right. So I just was like, whoa. I just didn't understand how vast his interest, mm -hmm. you know, and tastes were. Mm -hmm. um, having done three videos with him, I just had never been in his home. Right. You right. Know? But yeah, we got to do that and I hope we get to see him again soon. Well, back to Usher, though. Yeah. And, and NAACP Awards. Uh, that was, I mean, he's really having a time here, mm -hmm. you know, a resurgence from the Super Bowl we talked about last week and now the awards. New wedding. And that, oh yeah. He got oh, married. Oh, that's right. Right yeah. after, right after the Super right. Bowl, right? After Beyonce dropped, you know, Stop the World with her new project. He was like, wedding. <laughs> <laughs> he's full out. He is. But um, there were a lot of other fun winners on that show. Yeah. Um, t wait, remind me. Where? So I know Taraji was, uh, uh, we saw her, didn't we? Yep. Taraji Fantasia Barino yes. for The Color Purple. Yes. Yep. And then of course it was hosted by the legend Queen Latifah. Yeah. Yeah. And, and we She's love, always good. Love yes. her. I got to do the Grammys with Queen Latifah once. 
um, to choreograph a number for her. And Christian George, Duke Christian George, danced in it. Oh my gosh, that's, that's funny. A blast I'll, I'll post past. that on our on our social media. Okay, but that was fun. She was fun. I just remember being in her dressing room, and it, she stayed in her trainers until it was time to go on stage. So she was in this full gown, you know, having lunch in trainers. And she just walked around the trainers, but somebody was holding the heels. And then when it was time to put them on, she put them on. That sounds like me. <laughs> I do that. If I'm going out to dinner, I, I go in my slippers. And then I before I get out of the car, well, I, I put guess, my shoes yeah. on. I guess it's I, easier to drive that way, too, though. Yeah. Right? And, and also, like, I used to be able to rock heels all day. I would teach conventions in high-heeled boots and think I was so cute. Mm -hmm. Now, there's Do you still no have way. those Gucci boots I love? I sold them on the real real. <laughs> I did. They were great. Yeah. They were like knee high yeah. Gucci boots, no zipper. The the, um, the logo leather was just so supple. You could yeah. just pull it on and a big, yeah, Gucci. Those were beautiful. They were beautiful. But during COVID, I learned that I just can't handle like the highest of heels anymore. Yeah. I, I still have heels, but they're more doable. Yeah. More yes. subtle. More yes. subtle. More sensible for right. a woman of my age. Like, sure. like a kitten heel. <laughs> <laughs> like a flat. <laughs> Just kidding. I do still have some heels, but I can't wear them for as long. Right. Yeah. You use them as decoration. I do. Your beautiful heels you display in your home. And then um, Zorro brings them to me in the living room. You're like, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Dan was like, we should put everything away because uh -huh. I, I have things in the house uh -huh. like out, you know. Right. And um, and I said, no, yeah, he's got to learn how to live in this house right. you know, with the stuff. Yeah. So I just, ha you know, we just catch him in the act and right. then say, no, no. Yeah. You no. will not chew on Dolce Gabbana. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And he, he's been good. No, I know we're jumping around, but that Beyonce. Oh, my God. What Beyonce? I mean, I know we're talking country. I mean, she is the epitome of perfection. Is that perfection. Louis Vuitton? It is. With two versions. There's a there's a pant, there's a skirt, <laughs> there's a short. Oh. <laughs> oh no. And all of these are looks from one night. This is mm. Grammys. And, you know, before we knew that the Cowboy Carter um, era was coming. Yeah. So she's been sprinkling these breadcrumbs all the way back to Renaissance yeah. tour. And so when we saw that, it was kind of confusing for some people, but who knew that just a few days later, there'd be an announcement and an album drop and a whole country era and everything. But the Cowboy Carter album is awesome. Yeah. I think uh, it, this, this could be the one for her. I love the song with Miley. I know that seems to be the favorite. Oh, yeah. So good. It seems and 16 Carriages of Love. Mm -hmm. You know, and, this, and she just, I think she is a case study in longevity mm -hmm. and dedication and commitment. She really has. I, how long has her career been? Like, how old is she now? I don't even know. Well, 40s? Know Destiny's Child. Yes, yeah, she's 42, 43. But Destiny's Child had been at it forever. They were teens. Yes. And then when you think about the Star Search days, that's the 80s. Wow. You know, she's really been doing they it were for a long time, doing girls time and been relevant for a long time. So relevant. Mm -hmm. It's hard to stay relevant. And she gets to vacillate between these different things and sounds. And, you know, and I talk to people about this and I'm, you know, and I think it's because she has stayed a student. Uh -huh. She has studied the past, uh -huh. you know, to help her understand her tra trajectory uh -huh. for the future. Yeah. And to be able to give reverence to all of those pioneers that made it possible for her and artists like her right. to ascend to the heights that they have. Mm -hmm. And I just love that. And she seems to like include those people she or does. pay homage to or she does. somehow. She does. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's very classy. And mm -hmm. I think that, you know, it's just interesting that the psychology behind her art is so thoughtful. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not just a good song. Right. It has meaning. There's and it's meaning. deep meaning. And you almost have to study to understand where she's going. One of the, one of the, um, one of the YouTubers or content creators that I, that I love Herbie um, on YouTube. Hi Herbie. I always love his commentary about Beyonce. Of course he's a Beyonce fan and he was a Miley fan in his younger days. So for him, oh, he, loves he that calls song. it an orgasm that he gets to have with the Miley <laughs> song and the Beyonce song. But his con, his, his, his commentary is always so spot on. And I comment and I tell him, oh my God, wonderful job, wonderful job, wonderful job. But if you guys, I think it's, I think you say rev, that revels, rev, rev, revels, something like that, but Herbie, put in Herbie Beyonce and you'll okay, see. Okay. Okay. And he's very, um, 
and I think his podcast is called um, Homegirl. But he is really good, and he, and I love, and he's a young guy. And it's all about Beyonce. No, or he, that's just, about music. Okay, but he loves yeah, Beyonce. He's an he's an uh, music major, mm. you know. So that's his sort of education. Yeah. Um, but his his context is always so spot on, and I love when he talks about Beyonce because he connects it, and he's a. I think he too himself is a bit of a music historian at his young age. And it's so interesting to see his hear his perspective, and I'm like, hmm, I hadn't considered that. It's interesting to hear anyone's perspective. Absolutely, and we should all be open to listening. Absolutely, and, uh, and on every and, subject, and staying a student. Yeah, you know, that's that was what I think I was talking about because I feel like for us, we stay students of the arts. We we learn other techniques. We experience other people. You know, and in, in taking into consideration how they do things. Especially when you're working in other countries, Correct. which can be hard. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But yeah, I just love all that. And I just have been getting so much from my YouTube community and just enjoying and learning. And, you know, I have so many playlists. You do. You things. do learn a lot. I love it. Yeah. He loves it. He loves YouTube. I do. Loves it. I do. But yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Okay. Well, but yeah, learning. I do believe choreography should be included in the awards, you know, because... The fact that we worked on This Is It, and that to me was worthy of an Academy Award, not just because we worked on it, but because what it meant right. for the culture and the generation, you know, the, and the generations that Michael has influenced and continue to influence. Mm -hmm. And it just wasn't. Politics sometimes. Yeah, I don't know. I just feel like that was a missed opportunity, mm -hmm. you know, even for a nomination. Right. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know that was so special. Yeah. That, but, that was made. Yeah. But the politics are prevalent everywhere, you know, and we know that. Wow, there's a lot going on with that. Right. I mean, what about what about P Diddy, well, Puff Daddy? What's his name now? Are we? Are we? Is it Diddy now? Ooh. He's just he's in trouble. He's he a troublemaker. Trouble. But you know, he wasn't always very nice. Yeah, no. So I mean, a part of me, I don't wish badly for anyone. I don't. No. But you know. I don't know what comes around goes around and you, you gotta be nice. And oh yeah. Karma slow. is very, very slow in coming sometimes, but yeah. it always does. It's catching up with him. I think, I think so. It's, it's going to be interesting to see what, what happens. What is unfortunate oh. is that it has affected his children so much. I know. And I don't really know a lot about that. I know his son got arrested or something, right? Well, <gasps> the son has been accused. Okay. You know, well, well, first of all, they were both detained mm -hmm. to have, the sons were detained. Well, actually, he only has two sons. The other son, Quincy, is Al Bishore's child. But his two sons got detained when his homes were raided. Right. I saw that. So they were they were subsequently released. But recently, um, you know, his youngest son, um, Christian, has uh, been accused of similar things. Mm -hmm. to his, Something on a to boat, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So that is going to play out. But it's just so unfortunate that you know, we're seeing this sort of, sort of huge tumble, yeah. you know, from one of our entertainment luminaries. Um, Cause he was, he's, he's yeah. you know, he's done a lot for the hip hop culture and music in general, but at what cost? Because there were always some sort of um, antics or underhanded stuff. Sometimes there was an air of Ego. Dishonest. Well, definitely ego. Yeah. I mean, because having worked with him a couple of times, it was, yeah, the ego was bananas. And and that's not okay. It's not. You know what I mean? We're all people. We're no. all needed here on this earth. Yes, we are. And no one's more important than anyone else. No, everybody plays a part. And I just do not like that. I don't like that kind of person that is above everybody makes them wait makes them you know and thinks that they have power over someone else oh my god speaking of making them wait did i tell you when yes. we were in new york that when we were yes. working in new york and we got to go to janet's tour and everything yes. we were watching and it's at madison square garden first of all thank you gail for getting us tickets because we didn't even have a ticket oh wow when we got there <laughs> Wow. And I went around to the artist entrance. I was like, okay, I'm, uh, one of the dancers I'll see. I saw Gil Dudalo, and I was like, Gil. I don't know. So he got us in. And um, we're, we're watching the show, and I think 112 was opening. And so Puffy came out with 112. And so we're sitting there watching. So it's like, okay, here comes Janet. So she is on the thing coming down. On the, come on, get up. Uh, choreographed by Tavares. Oh, we love, we love him. Yeah. She's coming down on the elevator thing. Come on, get up. It's great. I'm like, ooh, she looked good. Ooh, she in light. Ooh. We get a text. Puffy's ready to go. I'm like, but Janet is <laughs> interpreting. What? What? He was ready to go to work. Yeah. 
I was like, so he just wanted to come and jump on stage with 112 and had no interest in watching Janice concert at all. No. He, and then we went to the rehearsal fuming because I did not get to see the concert live. Right. Madison Square Garden. Right. I mean, how, who, how many times you get to do that? Get there. It was hours before he showed up. I know. That is what. That ugh. is what. That is what put me over the edge. I was like, I did not get to see Janet. You are not here. And, you, you know, it, it just. It, For it hours. Just, we, and it was like the middle of the night when he we finally butt, showed up. Yeah, we butted heads. I went out to the audience. I went in the in the um, stairway. I called my agent. I was like, this will not be working. I am on my way home. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. I would too. That's horrible. Yeah. That is get out. Get out. Then we had to I had to sue him and the whole thing and terrible. You know, yeah, it was a, it was a it was a lot. It was so a lot. yeah, he wasn't nice and now no, he's but now might it's be paying like, the price. Yeah, and I and I shudder to think you know what's really really gonna go down because we've seen this we've seen this sort of downfall. Yeah, you know we've seen yeah. it publicly with Mr. Cosby. We've seen it mm. publicly with R. Kelly. Mm. You know so. I mean, I hate to see it, though. You know, you hate to see it, and you hate to hear these stories of what's happened and yep. people that have suffered. It's not, it's not good. And then, what's going on with Kanye? Like, he's he's one I feel for because I feel like he is so talented and mm -hmm. also um, kind of geniusy. He is very geniusy. And but maybe you know, maybe that is yeah. what. I can think most genius off. people are on the edge of like insanity. I think that's what gen where genius lives. It right. kind of vacillates between insanity and complete brilliance. I get it. Yeah. You know? um, but I think Kanye, uh, unlike Diddy, yes, you know, has had a um, less of a tumultuous thing with regards to other people. Right. I don't think you know. Kanye's I think Kanye's been focused on his bad, art. But, right. He's right. been focused on his art. Right. I, th I really think he is a true artist. I do too. You know, I don't think it's about the money for him. I don't think it's about the trappings of success for him. I mm -hmm. think it's really about the art mm -hmm. and at, and at whatever cost, you know, it takes meaning cost, meaning not just financial cost, but whatever the commitment is to or his art. Sometimes needed. he says things that are not popular with Correct. most of the population yeah. or are hurtful yeah. or, you know, to certain yeah. groups and demographics and, yeah. and that's not, not a good choice. Yeah. To his point, I do think he needs to run some stuff by PR a little more. <laughs> it would be nice if someone was watching out for him a little bit Correct. just to because I know he's probably like we just said. It's yeah. the genius. It's the and it's the eccentricities, mm -hmm. right? Eccentricities, whatever. But you know, it's it's uh yeah. I just always wish the best for him, you know, and his family because his his mother was close to my father. Oh, I did not know that. Mm -hmm. His mother worked in the Atlanta University, and she Center. passed away. She did. Yeah, unfortunately, that was very sad. Yeah, and I think that was the turning point for him. Yeah, well, of course. That's when we started to see the cracks. But I, I think he's a super freaky genius. And I think that, you know, his, his music and his art speaks for itself. Mm -hmm. You know, he's an entrepreneur who's been able to diversify and build on his brand in different genres and arenas. And, yes. you know, and as an innovator. And we like that. He isn't. That's a perfect word for him. Innovator. Yep. Yep. Um, well, let's get happier. I want to tell you guys. Yes. So I got to be an old dancer in a TV show. <laughs> I did. Um, I mean, it was a while back, but the show is finally coming out uh -huh. and it's called Palm Royale mm. and it's on Apple TV. And it was so fun because a bunch of like, oh, oh, this is it. Yeah. Look at this cast. I mean, you didn't even see everybody. It's Kristen Wiig, Carol Burnett, um, Ricky Martin, Kaya Gerber, who is um, Cindy, Cindy Crawford's yep, and Randy daughter, Gerber. and Josh Lucas and um, Le Leslie Bibb and... Natalie from Facts of Life. She's so cute and oh, funny. Oh, yes. that's Nancy McKeon. No, um, ooh, her name is escaping me at the moment. Uh, Mindy Kahn. Mindy I think Kahn, is, that's yes. right. But, I mean, there's so many people in this. It's crazy. But I thought of you because there's a line. See, Travis and I love, <laughs> like, for instance, our favorite movie is um, Steel Magnolias. Of course you can. Because we just quote everything. <laughs> but there's one I thought of you the other what? day. You have to watch it. Um, this... Kristen Wiig is uh -huh. it basically trying to like fit into this very snooty culture, okay. but she doesn't quite belong, but okay. that's her goal is uh -huh. to get into this club. And, uh -huh. you know, and, um, one of the ladies is like, honey, I think you're in over your head. And she was like, oh, I would never, that would be disrespectful to my hairdresser. <laughs> And I thought, oh, that that is a Travis line, like right? It is. Yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah. Mm. 
<laughs> and Kristen Wiig's so funny. Hey, Mrs. Iglesia. <laughs> we love Kristen Wiig. So funny. We just did. And this is a different character for her, but she's still, it's still very Kristen Wiig. It's, I it's funny. I love her. But it was so fun and cool and special um, because- Did you get to talk to Kristen and did you tell I her did, how much we love her? Well, I didn't tell her that, but okay. I did get to sort of work with her uh-huh. for one episode. Um, is this the one with the hairstyle that you had yes. took you days to get it out? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> it, the hair was amazing and it was all mine. Uh-huh. But they ratted it on top of my head. It was like this big, like a bouffant, I know. And um, and it was so done. Like I had to go back the second day to shoot another day. And I just, we just wrapped it. I slept in it and came back and it, it was fine. Like, But then after that, I couldn't get it out. Mm. I had to lay, I literally had to lay in the bathtub with my head submerged uh-huh. and put conditioner, like a half a bottle. Like it was nuts. I couldn't get it out. I thought that should be like hazard pay. It should. I mean, or they should have to take that take out. take it out. Cause mm. it was, I mean, I was nervous. Right. I, I was nervous. I wasn't going to. Uh huh. Get it out. Yeah. Uh-oh. Anyway, I got it out. I'm still gorgeous. Whatever. At you are. I'm not. And I want to say, mm. look, I can't, if I go like this, look, it looks like I'm balding, but I'm not. It's the gray hair well. it's because I have to dye it. Uh-huh. That's why we shouldn't do YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's just why we should have filters. How you okay. doing? Okay, Jamil, I need you to dye my hair. Right. Because every time need. I go like that, it's like, oh, I'm not really balding because I use Rogaine. Right. But- <laughs> I love it. And I just shave mine off. He doesn't use Rogaine. No, I don't. It no. just, I'm, it's been a thing since my 20s. <laughs> Thank you, Father. But anyway, I'm going to finish up with Palm Royale. But I just want to say, there's a woman on the wing. She's wearing colonial dress. <laughs> <laughs> she's That's, there. She's out there. I know it's a different movie, it's but it's Kristen movie. Wiig. It's Kristen Wiig. Right. But it was so Ooh. cool because our generation of dancers. Yeah. We're Who else was there? Back. So was it, was it like, like Nathan Prevost? Yes, and Nathan okay. and Michael Higgins. Oh, Higgy. And, yeah. Okay. And Nancy Anderson, Love. Brooke Lipton, Love. Uh, like uh, Linda Savio. Oh. Um, uh, Joey Shetler. Love. I'm forgetting a Lins- Lindsley Allen. Oh, awesome. I'm forgetting a million people because there's so many people in it. Yeah. Like they, they they got to hire like thirty of us. That's for, amazing. For many now, who um, choreographed many episodes. Funny because it started out being Zach Woodley. Who okay. I adore. Yeah. And I never saw him because okay. he got COVID. Oh. We did this. We started shooting it maybe two years ago okay. or something. I okay. don't even remember. But okay. it was still a little bit of COVID. And so he, his um, his associates uh, kind of took it over that first episode. And then after that, Brooke Lipton okay. took it over. Okay. So, um, but it was, it was just so cool to be back back in a rehearsal room and on set with all these dancers you grew up with mm-hmm. and the mentality was totally different. No one was trying to outdo anyone or right. be in front or be in the center. Right. We were all like, Oh my God, we're getting paid to, right. to eat craft service right. and get our makeup done again. Right. Like, this is so cool. Is it residuals with Apple TV? Yeah. Oh yeah. Awesome. I haven't gotten any yet, but, but that'll be good. Cause I need it. Cause because when I tell you Cinderella that I did with Brandy years yeah. ago with Disney, you know, the residuals for streaming were good. Ridiculous. Oh, so good. Wow. I think, and it's, you know, I don't know how long it's going to last, but you know, they were very, very modest when it was about the the televised version. Right. But then it, then it got better. But streaming, it, oh. it's like they've been hitting and I've been like, what? Well, after the strike, you know, things changed for, for the better for us. Mm-hmm. Now I don't, I haven't seen that yet, yeah. but um, we'll, well see how it hopefully goes. Hopefully they will be amazing. I hope because so. I was so surprised and there's been like maybe three that have come in since oh, that gives with me the streaming okay. and they're like bigger, like than the original run oh, of wow. it on TV. Great. So I was like, yay. Oh, we can move mountains when we stick together, yes. you know, and it's not bad because these are all things that everybody deserves anyway. Yeah. You know, because the, the companies make so much money off of these properties in perpetuity, mm-hmm. which means forever for yes. those of you who don't know contract lingo, but for as should ever. the performers. Yeah. <laughs> you know, as should the performers. I know because the residuals I tend to get now are like four cents. Correct. $2.87. Oh. I don't even you know. look. I don't even look sometimes. I know. I don't even, I'll just deposit them all at the same time because yeah. there's no rush. <laughs> oh, I know. I know. It's nothing. But it's a little bit of groceries. Yeah, and it matters. I appreciate it. It matters. But hopefully there'll be some good residuals. But it was really cool to just yeah. be with all these talented people who we used to work with, with just such a different feeling. It was just such yeah. a feeling of like gratitude, like, wow, mm-hmm. we can still do this, you yeah. know? So speaking it, of gratitude, we're so grateful for you all. 
that you're here. It is amazing. And I'm grateful for you. Oh, I am. I am. And I'm grateful for you. I mean it. Yeah. But still, if you don't have anything nice to say about someone, come sit right next to me. That's why I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to say one more thing. Guess who I yeah. saw on Access Hollywood? The okay. Other day? Who is that? Flips. Remember Flips? Yes. Flips. The great Flips. If you don't know Flips. Ivan Velez. Yes. But Flips is a B-boy. Mm-hmm. So incredible. He's yes. been on his head forever. Oh, there he is. With Mario. So, yeah, he was with Mario. And, you know, Mario's a great dancer, too. And he was teaching him how to dance. But it's really cool because Flips has been really interested in and in somewhat involved in getting hip-hop into the Olympics. Yes, he should. So we're going to see it in the Paris Olympics. Fabulous. Yes. Fabulous. So that will be so cool. I think it's going to be like a... You know, maybe like 16 B boys, 16 B girls, mm-hmm. and, you know, competing. I don't know exactly how it'll go, but it'll be fun to watch in the Olympics. So, wow. Summer Olympics. It's time yeah. because dance is a sport. You yeah. Know, dance is a sport. Well, especially that. The B boys. So athletic. Yeah. So Absolutely. athletic. So, you know, yeah. yes. So, how about this, this week's full out or get out? Ooh, Jamil, what do you have for us? Actually, can we just, um, you know, I did see your phone in the camera. Are you going to? Be able to snip that, or should we just care and just grow with it, baby? Like mm-hmm. Steve Winwood. Mm-hmm. I pulled that out of nowhere. You're so grow clever. With it, baby. Well, that was kind of good. <laughs> okay, you know, what I'm saying. yeah. Okay, but Jamil, right? Jamazel, what do you got for what, us? What What is our? I don't. I don't know what it week? is. We love to be surprised. Ah, oh, <laughs> a Janelle Monet component, and that looks like it is at. Um, Anna Wintour's Met Gala. Was this the last one? I don't know. Is this the camp one? Because that's definitely a camp outfit. I so I think she's always full out. She's so full out. She's cool. She takes risks as, as this is. Now, this is not my favorite look on her, but I'm going to say full out. You know what? I think, is this a, it kind of feels like it could be Tom Brown to me. The designer, I'm not sure, but I feel like if she put that coat on, it would give that sort of Tom Brown aesthetic. I don't see any red, white, or blue stripes. I kind of but, feel like Christmas tree. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I do. I yeah. feel like that. that it, it, but I get it. It's fashion. It's cool. She's got like a rock and body, her little bikini yes. under it. It's, and she always wears black and white. Those are her colors. She like, does. That's her blush and bashful. She yes. loves black and white. And we're more gray. Yeah, we love gray. Gray, but, black, and white. But I love Janelle Monet. I think she's a wonderful artist. And she, you know, she's a, she's a, she's she a, is she is multi- breaking the mold. Yes. And she, she is. is talented in so yeah, many genres. So many genres. And we, we love her. So I suppose I she's full out. I mean, she's that was very out. full out. Even if it's kind of get out, it's full out. It was with full her, out. I think. Was, and here's the great Lenny Kravitz. Of course, he's always full out. He's sexy. He is. He, he really is. And he, he is. he is sexier with age or stays as sexy. Yeah. As he ages. Yeah. No, he's, he defies age and, uh. He, he's definitely one of my favorite artists uh, and musicians. Mm. Mm-hmm. And you're one of my favorites. Thank you. Mm. I appreciate it. It goes both ways. Oh, really, that was really so does. sweet of me. I know. And you guys are sweet for continuing yes. to watch and support us. And oh. And Cardi. Okay. Okay, Cardi. This is a little. Um, this, is up. this is the up video. Um, choreographed by Sean Bankhead. Mm. And. Mm-hmm. Um, Yep. And I don't get the nails. I, I don't get these long nails people are doing. The Kardashians are doing it. They're, it's the animated thing. Yeah. It's a very, it's kind of a harkens back to like the seventies for me, you know, when the nails were that long. Um, but you know, it is, it is sensible. the trend. It is what's going, no, it is definitely not sensible. I mean, the, the hygiene alone, I, I can't. That's what I think. Yes. Um, but like yeah, what is that's under what there? the kids are doing. That's, that's what they're doing. They're, 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 they're spending hundreds of dollars on, on manicures. Yeah. Well, I would say she's full out, but that manicure can get out, it, out. for me. It's yeah. just yeah. what's under there. I don't yeah. know. Right. I don't know. But I just feel like, uh, it was, it was nice. I get it. And I did like that video a lot. I yeah. did like that video a lot. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, so with that, you make sure and please leave a comment below. Let us know what you'd like to hear us talk about. You know, we'll be back and, and we look forward to seeing you soon. But until that time, please follow us on our social medias. We are The Real Travis and Stacy at Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. And we're Trav Stace on Twitter. I'm so glad you know all that. You're so full out. I am full out. And listen, you guys, join us again. Yeah. And be full out. Or get out. Simple. Only option, right? Thank you. I like to say, go big. You know how you say, go big or go home? Yeah. My new thing is, go big, then go home. Ow.
Oh. Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> Thank you, Jamil. <laughs> yep. Who's our producing partner and and uh, on the wheels of steel back there. Mm-hmm. Thank you. <laughs> the dials of thank steel. You. Thank you but all. Yes, it's always a pleasure. And thank you. And we'll see you next time. Bye.